So you're using Google Sheets and you have beginning addresses and ending addresses. We're going to go over a way to find the distance between the two without leaving Google Sheets. So we're going to be using an add-on called Trip Tally. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll come over to the right and we'll click the plus button on the sidebar to get add-ons. And we'll just search for Trip Tally. And when you click on it, it's going to bring you to a screen where you choose to um, install it. And we'll continue. And you'll notice that Trip Tally wants you to tell what Google account you're going to use it with. And then you get to the permission screen. And here, typically an add-on is going to ask to look at any file on your Google Drive. But all Trip Tally needs to do is look at the spreadsheet that you install it in. So that's a pretty simple permission. And you have to allow that in order for it to work. And once you've installed it, we'll close this window, come over and it loads in the sidebar. So now whenever you go into Google Sheets in the future, Trip Tally will be one of the options. You can click on that. We already have a sheet that we use, but if you didn't, you could come over here and you could generate a blank template. Or you could have one that has one column for each address or multiple columns. So for now, we'll say use an existing sheet. So we'll click on that and then we'll come back to where our addresses are. And for this add on to function, you really only need to tell it three things. So the first thing is, is we will tell it where the beginning addresses are. So we can do that by selecting them and then clicking on use active selection and it will populate the range in the sidebar of where the addresses are. The other way to do it would just be to type them in. So I know the ending ones are in B2 to B5. And then you can control the output. So you can do miles or kilometers. We're in the US right now, so we'll say miles. And we can output distance or time or both. We'll just do both. We'll add the column labels. You'll see what that is. And we'll leave in this little link to the route. So we'll click run, it queries all four of those, and then it returns, these are the headers we were talking about, time, distance, and route. We've kept the add on that simple, there's, so there's not a lot to it, but it saves you the time of getting all, in this case, 12 of these parameters by going back and forth to Google Maps and copying and pasting. So you can do this every day, up to a thousand addresses a day, and it brings it straight in, and these are valid times, so you could sort by that column if you wanted to see the shortest to the longest or vice versa. And let's take a look at one more thing. The other thing that you can do is that it does accept different formats for location. So in this case, we'll use latitude and longitude and we'll come over to the sidebar. So we'll say A2 to A3. B2 to B3, we'll say kilometers, we'll just say time, and we'll say we're going to be walking. Click on run, there you go, easy as that. So there's a link in the description to the add-on if you want to download it and check it out. Seven day free trial, see if you like it. Thanks for watching.